Welcome back to the NovaCare Complex. I'm Molly Sullivan, joined by Josh Perkins. It's time to go one-on-one, -on -one, presented by Bob's Discount Furniture. Uh, coming off a wild game in South Philadelphia on Monday night, our friends at home, no doubt, remember how it all went down vividly, but you had five catches on five targets for 37 yards. You had that huge first down catch early in the fourth, that 11 yard catch in overtime, just to name a few, but take us through it and, and how it, from your perspective. Um, well, Alshon goes down in the, I think, second quarter and they're like, Perk, you're, you're gonna be up uh, my receiver. So, I mean, get ready. So, I mean, uh, all, all the time they preach, stay ready so you don't gotta get ready. That's one of my boys told me my rookie year. So throughout the year, I just, you know, just kept grinding. Being on the practice squad at the beginning of the year is kind of tough, but I just kept putting the work in, kept putting the work in, knowing that my opportunity would come eventually. You lined up at, get this, four different receiver and tight end spots, and yet when your number was called, like you said, you were ready. How? Mm -hmm. Um, You know, kind of just really just keeping my faith in God, you know. As soon as they told me that, I said out loud to myself, God is in control, God is in control. So I just thought that when I went on the field, so I didn't have no nervousness, no none of that, so I was just ready to go. All right, take notes at home, because this, this is how it happens. The headline was, perhaps, how three practice squad guys help beat the Giants and save the season. But Perk, if you were writing that headline, what would it say? What would it really say? Um, I mean, I don't know what I would put for that, but I would just, just say, like, like I said, just stay ready at all times, you know. We always try to encourage ourselves, me, Greg, and, and um, Boston each and every day, you know, just always preaching, keeping that, keep doing that work each and every day after practice. So um, just keep grinding, you know, and just uh, always believe in yourself. Yeah, along with Boston Scott and Greg Ward, the three of you combined for 199 yards from scrimmage and a touchdown. Now, those post-game conversations had to be amazing. But put those on ice for a minute because I think what is far more intriguing is how you guys, the three of you, attacked every day. Those daily conversations and how you really rallied together, made each other better. What can you share about the special bond that you guys have? Oh man, uh, Greg, Boston, those are my guys, you know. We sit next to each other in the meetings and we're always talking it up, talking it up. Like, if someday I'm down, I'll talk to Greg and he's like, man, you're, you're still here, bro. So, you know, just keep grinding, your opportunity's gonna come. So we just gotta keep, in, we kept in encouraging each other and uh, eventually we got our opportunity and we made the most of it. You played nine games with one start for the Eagles last season. We established how you started this season on the practice squad, how challenging was it for you, honestly, to stay patient and stay ready for when your number was called? Oh, it was really challenging. Like the beginning of the season was really tough for me. So, you know, it was kind of hard. I was I was upset and I was just down on myself at the beginning of the season. But, uh, you know, I started reading more. I started, uh, kept my faith. You know, I got deeper in my faith. And eventually I, I started to like, I read this book and it was called The Gratitude Formula, which is yeah, basically, sure. Uh, every morning I would say what I was thankful for. Every Before I go to sleep, I would say what I was thankful for because you always think you're in a bad position, but there's always someone worse off than you. So I just kind of put things in perspective for me. What, what made you think to go into the pages and start reading and, and learning from others that, you know, have come before you? What made you go that direction? Um... Uh, I just wanted to kind of have a more positive mindset because being at the beginning, being on the practice squad, I was thinking a lot of negative thoughts and I didn't think that was good for me. So yeah, reading that you. book, yeah, yeah, that wasn't me at all. So just reading that book, it kind of kept reassuring myself, reassuring myself each and every day and eventually it paid off. All right. So the confidence that uh, Carson Wentz showed in you to make play after play is one thing, but the confidence that you showed in Carson Wentz to help deliver that signature win, what do you see in number 11? Oh, he's a great leader, you know, just glad that he was he had the confidence in me to throw me the ball, even though we hadn't really got that many reps during the week at it. We just kind of got thrown in there at the last second. So I'm just glad he had the confidence in me to be able to make those plays for him. What do you want to prove out there? Um, I just want to prove to myself and to everybody that I can play, you know. Uh, like I said, I started to doubt myself a little bit, but uh, just going out there and just proving each and every play that, that I belong. You sure do. Mm -hmm. You're one game closer to your goal as a team. The, the building is energized, you guys are hungry, the lights are gonna get brighter. I know you don't get phased, we already established that off camera. Uh, but what is the key, entering Washington here, where it is a playoff atmosphere, right? What's the key for you? Um, just just focusing on each and every little, little detail, each and every play, you know. Uh, not getting too high, not getting too low, just kind of staying even killed and going ahead and, and make the plays when they, when they present themselves. 
your purpose is bigger than the game. That's something that I, I saw you years ago say, and certainly now your perspective is even greater. So if, if the question is out there on Twitter, whatever, in real life, whatever, who is Josh Perkins? How do you, how do you best answer that? Uh, I think I'm, I'm a God-fearing man, of course. Um, uh, very, very strong in my faith and a uh, uh, team player. There it is. Mm -hmm. Simple, yet mm -hmm. powerful. Mm -hmm. If you don't know, now you know. Josh Perkins, Molly Sullivan. We'll see you next time. Thank Good you. Luck. Appreciate it. <laughs>